All right, we're back. Uh, we're gonna be working on this engine uh, probably for the next uh, probably the next month or so. Um, waiting for a bunch of parts to come in and just assessing what I have. So I've got the uh, the K24 uh, block mounted up on my engine stand, and I've been going through the last couple of days just checking things off on it. Uh, so tonight we're gonna check uh, one of the rod bearings. We're gonna check number four rod bearing for wear. Uh, this motor's got 260,000 kilometers worth of road miles on it. I'm not expecting to see anything too alarming, but uh, it's always a good thing to check uh, since we have it basically there anyways. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to decarbon the pistons. We're going to take all the sludge and carbon build up off the faces of the pistons and uh, get it looking a little bit cleaner than it is. So let's get started. All right, so I cleaned up two already off camera just to see how this would work. I've got just some regular uh, oven cleaner. Uh, I sprayed it on these piston surfaces and let it soak for, I guess, about three or four minutes. And then I took a scrub brush, or this is a, an automatic one that kind of vibrates, but uh, I didn't use that function. I just scrubbed with it. And so I scrubbed for about three minutes on each one of them. Uh, then I wiped everything off. Uh, and then I uh, reapplied it again, scrubbed it again, wiped it off. And there's some carbon buildup right down in these notches here that was just really stubborn and, and thick. And I just took a little metal pick and just slowly chipped away at it. Did not scratch in the pistons or anything like that. And got it all cleaned out. So that's what they look like now. Uh, this is what they looked like before. Uh, so yeah, they're gross and, uh, we'll, uh, pop these ones up and, uh, I'll, uh, clean them up on camera. I'll probably do time-lapse for you guys, just so you're not sitting here for 20 minutes watch, watch me clean a piston. All right, let me get this set up and we'll get started. All right, so I got the motor turned over. Um, got these two pistons up now. The clean ones are now down. Um... Yeah, I stuck some rags in here just to keep any debris from going in on the clean ones, but uh, pretty easy to clean up after. So we're going to take this and we're going to spray a coat on. We're going to let it sit uh, for about, uh, probably about three minutes or so. And we'll start agitating with that brush. And I'll just do probably one at a time. Make sure that you have some kind of glove on. This stuff is extremely hard on your skin. I think it's, it'll actually, it's a lye base, so it'll actually burn your skin. So make sure you're covered, make sure you have some old clothing on, and make sure you have eye protection on as well. So spray this on and we'll let her sit. And cue the time lapse. Okay, so now we're going to take our brush and just slowly start scrubbing away at this. Starting to see the shine a little bit underneath the slop, slop on there. I find the really difficult area to get into is in these uh, fly cuts for the valves and the pistons. They are uh, it's just a little crevice for everything to kind of get caught into, and they seem to take the most amount of time scrubbing to get uh, clean. So just keep working away at it here. Okay. So, as you can see, there's still got some carbon buildup on them and they're still kind of stained brown. So we're going to do the same thing over again. We're just going to uh, reapply the uh, oven cleaner, let it sit for another, I don't know, three minutes, five minutes. Just let it work away. Just let it do its job. All 
Okay, so I had a little bit of a ca camera glitch there. Sorry, guys. Uh, apparently, you can only record for a certain amount of time. So, anyways, I let that soak for another three to five minutes after I applied that second dose. And as you can see, they're, they've gotten rid of that kind of browny, yellowy tinge. And they're now starting to look uh, nice and fresh. So, I've still got some heavy buildup down in the bottom of these reliefs for the valves. And a little bit of long hair. So what I'm going to do, I think the motor is just slightly down, these pistons are just slightly down, so I'm going to make sure they're popped up. And I'll clean that, and I'm going to get in here and scrape these fly cuts out with just a little pick tool. Then we'll do one more coat of uh, oven cleaner. Uh, let it sit, do another scrub, and then clean, uh, and then spray down brake brake clean to get any residue off. And uh, we should be good to go. All right, let's get that started. Okay, so we'll just give it a spray down with some brake clean. And one thing you want to do before you finish here is push these pistons down to get all the crap that was stuck in between the piston and the liner. So let's turn this over. All right, donezo. All right, last thing tonight is going to be um, pulling the number four rod cap off uh, just to take a look at the bearing uh, to make sure there's no issues. Uh, if there's been an issue with oil pressure or anything like that, it'll usually show most prevalently on number four because it's the furthest down the chain from all the others uh, on the crank. So. Yeah, we'll pop this off and we'll take a look at what we got. It uses this uh, inverted Torx. I'm not sure you can see that. Inverted Torx um, socket on K24 uh, rod bolts. So, whack these off. Uh, I did break them loose of the breaker bar first off camera, so don't uh, freak out that that was really easy because it took a hell of a lot to snap them loose. I also found out once I cracked these loose that these are torque to yield bolts, so I'm going to be buying two new uh, rod bolts for the 30 bucks, whatever they're going to cost me. I'd rather just not risk reusing uh, these ones. Let me know if anybody's reused these before and had no issues or had issues or what your thoughts are on that. I'm going to do it just as a precaution because I'm going to be revving this motor. So, crack this loose. Okay, so you see that it's got a little bit of wear on it, but 260,000 kilometers on this motor. That's not too shabby. No grooves or gouges. Crank is super, super smooth. That's good. That's what I'm most worried about. <clears throat> um, now it's best to check the other half shell as well because that's the one that takes the load so when there's an ignition event it pushes down on that that's the brand that generally gets the most amount of uh, abuse so we'll tappy tap that down Yeah, that one looks clean too. It looks just like the other one, so. 
Okay, so move my light around here. You can see that. So yeah, it looks the rod bearing looks fine. I'll uh, I'll run it. Uh, I'm not too worried about it uh, failing. Uh, do an oil change every event, and uh, yeah, I run high quality oil in it. So. And end of the day, if it goes, it goes. I've got another couple of these sitting around here. Never want to really do anything that'll make them go, but uh, in this case, it's a budget build. I don't want to get into redoing everything on this motor because if I redo bottom end bearings, why not chuck some new rings on it? And then why not do main bearings and thrust bearings and everything else and snowball effect? So I want to stay away from snowballs. So, all right. So that's it for uh, tonight's uh, vlog or episode. Uh, so tonight we got pistons cleaned up on this K24 motor. They look like new, which is mind blank. Still can't believe how well those cleaned up. And uh, we know we have a healthy motor. We know that there's no rod bearing issues or oiling issues on this motor from the past. So that means that we can go forward or move ahead with this motor and uh, start getting components to put it back together. So first things first, I'm gonna get new rod bolts for this one that I popped loose uh, to replace them because they are apparently torque to yield. Uh, once we have that done, uh, we'll get into, what are we gonna do next? Probably do the oil pump mod. So I've got a K20A2 oil pump as I showed in the last vlog. Uh, it does need a little bit of uh, machine, uh, not machine, grinding on part of it. So we'll go through and get that done. Um, not sure if I'll do that on camera or not. I need to do that at my parents' place. And right now with the lockdown on, I'm not able to go over there. So I might see if there's a couple other things here that I can keep myself busy with in the meantime. Anyways, I uh, hope everybody enjoyed this episode and I'll uh, see you all next time. Bye now.